Your book is done and you're prepping for launch, or you've already launched and you're looking to build momentum and find more readers. That's great, because if you're looking for book marketing tips, this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad, founder of a fabulous self-publishing services company called Book Launchers. Let's hit this hard with the first tip, and this is something you should always be doing. Whether you're thinking of writing a book or the book is written, or it's already launched. The first tip is to cultivate relationships. Make connections in your industry, in your subject space, and with other influencers. Look at the folks who are already talking to your audience and start making connections with them. If you're not sure how, I've got a video at the end of this one that I'll link to so you can get my introvert's guide to making great connections. Ultimately, my preference for this is to see if I know anybody that already knows somebody and get connected that way. The next best thing to your own audience is getting access to somebody else's audience. Two, create and keep up to date your essential book promotion assets. These things include, but aren't limited to, your media kit, your Amazon Author Central page, social media posts and social media pages, your email newsletter. Now, before your launch, post that your book is coming out. Afterwards, make sure it's noted and keep that content relevant. I'm not saying talk about your book every time, but make sure you're still talking about it. If you're looking for inspiration, I've shot some videos that are straight from book chapters. So you can check those out. I pull quotes from the book and share them. We also update pages with new media, award wins, feature reviews. Just keep things current. Number three, if you haven't already started building your own newsletter list, this is something everyone should be doing before, during, and after book launch. Many times someone will download your freebie but not buy your book, especially when you do media speaking and podcast interviews. So make sure you've got somewhere awesome to send them and a freebie to give them. You don't know what I'm talking about? Go to booklaunchers.com forward slash get a ghost and you'll see an example of a lead magnet or a reader magnet or a freebie, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. You can sign up for my launch letter newsletter on this page and you get the get a ghost writer guide. Building your newsletter list is arguably the single most important thing you can do as an author in order to build relationships with your readers, have a place that you own, and be able to offer them future books, courses, consulting, products, services, ask for reviews, and so much more. If you wanna make a strong return on your book investment, then your newsletter list and building it should be as high of a priority as selling your book. Number four, get reviews of your book. It's hard work. And by the way, if you've grabbed a copy of Self Publish and Succeed and you haven't posted a review yet, do that right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Now, after you've posted that review, let us know that you did it. Email us at team at booklaunchers.com and we have reviewer parties and we'd love to get you an invite. But seriously, everything works better when you have reviews. You'll find when you are getting pitched or pitching yourself for podcasts, live appearances, traditional media, and so many other things, you'll get more yeses when there's social proof that you and your book are good. If you're running Amazon ads, you're also going to get a better return on your Amazon ads when you have at least 25 or more reviews on Amazon. Now, there's no hard and fast rule. We've seen Amazon ads do okay with under 25 reviews, but it just seems that the more reviews you have, the better your ads will convert. And frankly, other people who don't know who you are, when they happen to get on your Amazon page and they see more than 25 reviews, they're more likely to take your book seriously. How do you get reviews? Well, that's a conversation for many other videos. So make sure you've subscribed to the channel and turned the notifications on so that we can chat more about that in a future video. And when you do that, you're also able to comment the day a video is released and get entered to win some of our sweet hashtag no boring books swag. And you'll also start to join the ranks of our fabulous YouTube bestie family of folks who support the channel with their comments, likes, and shares. Thank you guys. Look at them all. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> Number five, run a 99 cent ebook promotion. We like to run 99 cent ebook promotions every quarter for our author's books. An ebook pre launch, launch, or post launch price of 99 cents for a short period of time gives you something to promote and also allows you to sign up for different promotional newsletters that want your book to be set for 99 cents or $2.99 as a promotion. Remember, Amazon's algorithm rewards consistent conversions of your book. And they do that by suggesting it to new people. So you want to keep your book selling and layering a 99 cent ebook sale on with your other promotional strategies can be a great way to give your books a sale 
a boost, a sale boost, a boost. And layering a 99 cent ebook sale on with your other promotional strategies can be a great way to boost your book sales and get Amazon more excited about your book again. We promote the 99 cent sale on a bunch of different platforms like Bargain Booksy, Riffle Books, and BookBub if they take it. There's lots of great lists out there so you can find promo sites that are good for your book. Most promo sites do a one day sale but you can lower your price to 99 cents for five days and just run a different promo each day to drive sales over multiple days. <laughs> of course, there's also Amazon ads, media interviews, bookstores, libraries, live events, and so many other ways to market your book. But these are five tried and true ways to market a book into and beyond launch. If you liked at least one of these tips, and you're still listening, so I'd like to think you did, hit that thumbs up button on your way to tell me which one was your favorite. And because I can't help myself, let me give you one more tip. Keep talking about your book. Do one thing every day to promote your book so that after a year, you've done at least 365 things to promote your book. Not sure what you should do? Well, here's a list. You can ask for a review, pitch yourself for a podcast interview, look for a new book partnership, post on social media, thank a reviewer, send a book to a potential partner, run an ebook sale, update your metadata. There's so many ideas. Those are just a few things that you could do. If you don't know what should go in your media kit, this video is a must watch. And if you're still stuck on tip number one, networking, this video is all about making connections for your book. I'm pretty pumped to hang out with you more. So please click on the video you wanna see next and I'll be waiting for you with coffee, tea, or hot chocolate in our hashtag NoBoringBooksMug.